Hey, what's up guys? Today we are going to take a look at the brand new, uh, I'm kidding, but the new name of Merch by Amazon or Amazon Merch for short. Now we got to get used to calling it Amazon Merch on Demand. I do not know what changed prior to recording this, so we're going to go through it together and just see what's new, if anything. So let's get started. Real quick reminder, I've got free resources for you in the description. I've got my weekly print-on-demand giveaway. I've got my seven-day Merch by Amazon mini course delivered via email, and I've got a great Merch by Amazon Facebook group. So check out all those resources in the description. All right, I am in an incognito browser, so I am not logged in, and I'm checking out the new homepage for Amazon Merch on Demand. Not print-on-demand, Merch on Demand. All right, so uh, the homepage does look similar to what we've seen in the past, but why don't we just kind of browse through it, see if there's anything new, any takeaways. Uh, it says, become a merch on demand content creator, share your designs with the world by creating a graphic, creating graphic tees, accessories, and more, all printed on demand. We handle your printing and shipping so you can design while we deliver. Great. Um, you can see, I think this used to be there as well. Upload your artwork, set a list price, we print what's sold, fast shipping with Prime, earn monthly royalties. What's not to love? Uh, how does it work? Simply upload your artwork, choose a product type and color, and add a product description. We'll create a product page on Amazon, and when customers buy your product, we'll handle production, shipping, and customer service, all with no upfront costs. Yes, what's not to love there? Want to join a community of content creators? Uh, basically, here's the sign up that used to say, I think, request invitation, and uh, now it says sign up, even though you're still going to have to apply and hope you get in. So they've got like a one minute video here on their YouTube channel posted on Amazon fashion, it looks like. So we can check this out. Your work speaks for itself. Now share it with the world. Become an Amazon merch on demand content creator. <laughs> it seemed like they didn't try too hard to make this video. We handle your printing and shipping all with no upfront costs. So you can design while we deliver. Reach millions of customers. Searching for that one of a kind find. By the way, Amazon, call me if you need my help on the next video. Your design is only printed when it's ordered. Using the latest in world-class printing technology. That's kind of cool. We get to see the technology running. <laughs> Track your success with our tools and watch your revenue grow. All your designs are eligible for prime, fast shipping, and free returns. It starts with you. It starts with us, guys. Are you feeling inspired after watching that video? It is kind of exciting, though. I mean, those of us that have been doing this for a while, um, you know, it seems like it's just becoming more and more of an official thing. Like for me, going back to my start with Merch by Amazon, you know, I told you guys like they would do things like running out of uh, inventory um, when, you know, it would be the fourth quarter when, when you had the, the Christmas sales rush. Uh, they would they would basically like freeze letting new sellers in in the fourth quarter, which I still think they may kind of do just probably due to like the burden on their web servers. Um, they would like freeze us sometimes from uploading new products or maybe drastically limit our daily uploads during the fourth quarter. And it's like, now what do we see compared to the future? We see that we can, um, that we upload to the U S market. And then behind the scenes, they're pushing our products to the international markets, right? They're, they're expanding for us. And that's for sure causing, you know, a massive burden on their web servers, something that used to be an issue. Now it's not an issue at all. It's something that they're doing behind the scenes for us using automated processes because they want this program, this merch on demand program to be a global success. They've obviously also invested in the infrastructure around the world. They've got the printers, they've got the employees. They need us to go and, you know, either create demand or serve the existing demand on these international Amazon marketplaces. So it is really cool. So it says earn royalties. We pay you a royalty on every product sold. No inventory risk. Don't worry about unsold stock. We'll print your product after each sale using world-class print technology, prime shipping. All of our products are eligible for prime shipping. So your customers receive them quickly, reach new customers. Your products will be available to hundreds of millions of customers. Track your success. Use our analysis tools for insights on your best-selling designs and watch your revenue grow. <laughs> I mean, 
we, we know that the uh, analyze tab not exactly the most insightful they could probably just call the developers of uh, pretty merch and you know see if they're interested in jumping on the merch team and building out like a truly insightful dashboard that's something that they should definitely make happen uh, and we see here amazon merch on demand content creators include everyone from independent designers like us to big brands uh disney marvel cartoon network fortnite adult swim overwatch dr seuss universal uh so yeah i mean a lot of the universal studios we know we've seen some movies dropping their merch on merch by amazon to coincide with the release of the movies so that's pretty cool uh, and then they've got you know frequently asked questions do you need to comply with the content policy yes how are royalties calculated they link you to the royalty calculation page can i order a sample before i publish a product um they're saying you have the option of making something before it's public available via direct link so it's kind of like ordering a sample you're buying your own product but here's the thing they're saying right here that you can make your product um well you can either make it publicly available or do the link only which is like a private way of um publishing where it won't be indexed in amazon's catalog what they're basically saying though is like if you order your own sample that's going to count towards your sales and get you closer to a tier up so i think uh, if you're worried about buying your own products you shouldn't be that seems pretty safe how should you prepare your uh, t-shirt artwork to be uploaded I'll give you some insights there i want to upload a product designed to amazon merch on demand can i submit the same design to another website or manufacturer yes it is non-exclusive what shipping options do your customers get they get the prime shipping uh, if they spend more than 25 dollars, they get free shipping i've signed up for amazon merch on demand account what happens next once you've submitted your request we will provide you with an expected time frame for a decision and we will notify you of the decision via email as soon as it has been made uh, and then of course there's a lot more frequently asked questions i did do a video while i was on vacation i pre-recorded one and went through like a 45 minute video going through all the frequently asked questions so make sure you check that one out uh that was a doozy to make there's a lot of reading um and of course i like to give my commentary as i go um anyways guys that's basically it so what's new with amazon merch on demand well we got a new video here on the amazon fashion uh with less than 8,000 subscribers youtube channel uh beyond that i mean i don't think anything really changed other than Hey, if you're trying to maybe get indexed on these keywords, uh, in the past, everybody was calling it merch by Amazon or Amazon merch. And you can be early to the, um, to the rush, if you will, by going and putting some YouTube videos out with Amazon merch on demand in the title, wink, wink, and maybe a blog post or whatever else you've got going on guys. Um, but anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Is this like a preview? Do they have some more going on behind the scenes that we should be worried about or excited about? Uh, or is this just kind of par for the course? Somebody decided, hey, let's change the name and keep things going as usual minus the new name. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.